So we are progressing in Genesis chapter number 22, verse number one. Today, we are looking at uh, some more three things we can learn from Abraham. Yesterday, we saw that there are three things, and today, some more three things. Yesterday was that, uh, what can we pick out of the trial and testing that Abraham went through? Number one is that we can develop intimate relationship with God whenever we are going through hard times. Simply put, God wants to develop with us an intimate relationship, a fellowship together with him. You see, that's what Abraham realized, that uh, through this, God was drawing him more closer to him. And then the other one was, was that he was able to put God above everything, that he, his love for God was above everything. There was nothing that could come in between him and God, and God was supreme. His love for God was supreme. And it's a challenge for us, modern day Christian, is that... Uh, how much more do we love God? How much more are we willing to, to, to go just simply because of our love for God? And then the last one was that he was able to glorify God simply by him obeying God, obedience. And we know that obedience is better than sacrifice. So by him obeying, obeying God, I mean, he was able to do it without question, without arguing, without any kind or form of hesitation. And therefore, he was able to conquer the, the trial. So today, three more lessons we can learn today. And today, number one is simply that he was able to grow and mature through this kind of trial and testing. You see, through him having passed those series of crises up to this point, he had grown. And like I said yesterday, that God can never severely test a person unless that person has grown in faith unless that person is mature in faith god can never try you beyond what you are able to bear you see through the series of little kind of testing and trials you are able to conquer and win so i think that by this big trial abraham was able to become much more mature and witness listen to matthew chapter 5 verse 16 it says this abraham says this let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Let your light so sh shine. If you are maturing, then people are watching you, people are seeing you, so you are able to, to witness to people. People are able to see the light that is in you and the maturity that you have, the way you handle crisis, the way you handle trials. People are able to be attracted to the faith and to Christ because they see that you are able to handle in a mature way. You are able to come through it, composed and calm. People will be attracted to Jesus Christ when they see the maturity that is in you. And then secondly is that he was able to give back to God what God gave him in the first place. That was a type of an absolute surrender that Abraham was able to give back to God what God gave to him. A picture of absolute surrender. He realized that whatever he has belongs to God. Whatever he possesses belongs to God. The son that God gave him simply belongs to God. He was able to give it back to him in a form of absolute surrender. See, in the book of James, James tells us that every perfect and good gift comes from who? From God. And therefore, Abraham knew that and he was able to give it back to him. And I hope also for us, we, re we learn that, that everything we have, everything we possess, I know you can justify yourself that it's through your education, it's through your hard work, it's through your efforts and whatever. But listen, look. It all comes down to this. Every good and perfect gift comes from God. God has given it to you. God has granted you. So what it means here is that when God requires of you, is that you give it back to him. I mean, that's why in the book of Romans, chapter 12, verse 1, listen what it says. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies as a living sacrifice. That you present your bodies as a living sacrifice because, you know, that you belong to God. And also, if you know you belong to God, then you know that everything that you have belongs to God. If you know that, I mean, you'll be able to conquer trials. You'll be able to persevere. You'll be able to endure. Because whatever comes your way, whatever comes to your way and will want to destroy you or whatever thing you lose in the midst of a trial, you'll recognize that. Look here. In the first place, it belongs to God. 
And if God so desires to take it, so let it be. You continue to praise and to magnify God. The last thing is here that uh, Abraham demonstrated to us that faith is victorious. That the way to conquer trials is through faith. That faith is victorious over every kind of trials and temptation. You see, that is the rock bottom of it. That's the cornerstone of it. Whatever the trials you go through, if you don't have faith, then you cannot be able to overcome it. Abraham demonstrated it. He believed and he trusted in God, that God can be able to bring back his son to life. That's faith. Something that you've never seen it happen, and you believe that it will happen and it will take place. And that's what Abraham believed, and he was able to conquer the trials and temptation. And I pray that you also have that kind of faith. You see, God can allow us to go through the valleys and God can allow us to go through a very trying moments. God can allow you and me to walk through very hard times. It is only faith, the belief and complete trust, relying on the working and power of God to save you, that will only take you through a hard time. And Abraham demonstrated that. So let us take that in our heart, that faith is the key to victorious life through trials and temptation so you've seen all those kind of three six lessons that abraham taught us that simply put for you to overcome them obey god love god have intimate fellowship with god and by that i mean that you accept jesus christ as your lord and savior and not only that that also you grow and mature in your trying moments and not only that you Surrender yourself, that you, you offer yourself as a living sacrifice to God for his ministry, for his use. Whatever you have doesn't belong to you, but belongs to God. And then the last one is that have faith that can move mountains. You shall conquer any kind of trials. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We bless you. We magnify your holy name. May you take us throughout the day, knowing that God, faith is the key. Without faith, it is impossible to please you. With faith, we can move mountains, and God, whatever comes our way, but by faith, God, you've assured us that we shall be able to overcome trials in our lives. So I pray for all of us, God Almighty, that we have that kind of faith, the faith that can overcome trials. So sustain us throughout this season, of pandemic and out of it let us grow and mature so we bless you and we honor your name for in the mighty name of jesus christ we pray and believe in Amen.